How's it going guys? Clutch here once again. Another tutorial for Farming Sim 19 on a little bit of terraforming and base creation area or farm creation area. Um, as you can see we're here on the uh, base Ravenport map and uh, you know this here it'd be the opening area, the starting location. Now what if you don't want to start in this area and you'd rather build a farm someplace else and you can see the land isn't exactly flat in here. So what can you do? Well we're going to talk about that next. We're going to talk a little bit about terraforming and uh, what your options are going to be. So stick around, let's get into it. Pitter batter. Clutch simulations. All right guys, so we want to find a different place for our home base, our home farm. Um, we didn't like the location or we just want something different to start from instead of being uh, at the normal location where you normally have the farm. This here is up by the biogas plant and maybe this little corner here might be good. Now what you're going to look for is you want to have something that's still relatively flat. Now this hill right here that I'm kind of climbing, it's going to give us some grief, that is for sure. Um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a pain. But uh, we'll see if we can kind of take this corner over here. Uh, it's, it would be nice because it's so conveniently close to the biogas plant potentially. So this might be a good spot. There's lots of big fields around it. So if we purchase this property and started building on it, then uh, we'll see what we can do. So we'll, I'll show you how I usually go about uh, forming the land. And if we want a nice big concrete pad here, what needs to happen? So we're going to start off. I'm going to go buy this property and we'll start from there. All right, guys. So first of all, um, I went out and gave myself a little bit of extra cash. I got 51 mil in the, in the old bank account now just to get this kicked off. Um, if you want to learn how to do that, a uh, little hack then uh, yeah that's I'll leave that description or up in the cards up in the top right hand corner there you can click on that and find out how exactly that all works but other than that let's get to kind of terraforming our land here so we can kind of build our property now the easiest way is to go with the biggest placeables and then just delete them um, I'll start off with yeah the shed here let's see now when you're starting this off now when you're looking at this view here it's really tough to see any kind of a difference in the overall um, topography like it looks fairly flat when you're up top here obviously so really analyze the ground beforehand to figure out where the low spots are and where to start um, now next up on this one here I'm gonna use my controller for this actually just to make it a little bit easier now you can one thing I didn't know beforehand is you could lift and raise or lower and raise the uh, all your placeables so make sure that you're doing that and I usually, my advice for that is to start at the bottom, start bottoming out the uh, the device that you want to place and then work your way back up. Um, now, you know what? I haven't purchased the land yet, so it's not giving me that option. But let's go ahead and do that first. So we'll just go to our map, oops, uh, buy land, and we're going to buy this field here. Yes, and you know what? Just to be safe, we'll buy this as well. Just because uh, I'm worried that the land terraforming may give us some grief. And you know what? We'll buy over here just because we can. <laughs> We got the cash. All right, so we'll go back into to our terraform or, in, or into our building. Uh, we're gonna buy that shed again. And now you can see we can obviously build it. Um, yeah, if I had to bought the field here as well, that might've been giving me grief because the roads, depending on where the, uh, the property line for the road is, that's the only thing I was thinking there. Anyways, so um, as you can see now, if I hold down my left bumper, I can lift and lower the building itself. Um, I would advise trying to bottom out and then stay at that level. So I'm going to kind of just put it just on the edge of the current uh, property line of the biogas plant here. And then I'm going to place it. Now I might go down the line. I'll see if I can do it again. And I can, which is nice. And try and get it up, snugged up as close as you can to the other building. And try and line everything up if you want everything to look nice. And make sure it's bottomed out once again. And then we'll just go down the line here and do a couple more. Boom. All right, so we got those ones done. Now you might get lucky and be able to place them on the back side here as well. We'll see what we got. But if not, depending on which location you're going to, yeah, this one's not. And make sure you are fairly precise with this. You wanna make sure once again that you're bottoming all the way down. There we go. And that does make a bit of a difference um, if you don't do it, if you don't bottom out all the way. So we'll place that there. We'll see what happens here. This might. Give us a bit of grief. Oh, that's perfect, actually. All right, so we'll go all the way down again. Again, snug it up as much as we can and make sure we're snugged up on this side. 
As you can see, my controller has got a bit of a a wobble on it there. Okay, and we'll come all the way down here. Same thing. Okay, now once we have it at this point, uh, we need to delete this. So we'll go back into our um, our purchase menu. So we'll with all our tractors and everything, our garage. And then we want to we'll go to our personal garage and find the sheds. Now once you have all these sheds here, you can see I can just kind of click on each one of them. Sell. 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 And sell. And sell. All right. So that's actually not too bad. We've got a pretty big area here. Uh, we got two little spots that we can get rid of. So we'll go ahead and buy a couple more uh, sheds. We can just usually go with these ones here again. Boom. And do it again that easily. It's not going to give me that spot. I'll do it one at a time. Oops, didn't want that one. Did I build that one? Nope. So some of them are going to give you a bit of grief. Like I said, you've got to... Just play with it. It's uh, make sure you're happy with the location you have it in, and then really just play with it a little bit to make sure that it's going to work for you. For some reason, right now the terrain is not giving me the option to get rid of that one little that this one little grass line right in here. If I go all the way on, um, one thing I do find is once you terraform something once, it doesn't like to be terraformed again. <laughs> so you really got to make sure you kind of you're you're happy with the location of it. So we're gonna come out a little bit further here. We'll see what we can do. Uh, see if I can learn. There we go. And once again, so you see this, that it didn't really want to give me the the spot. And just because it wasn't bottomed out, you can see those legs weren't all the way down. So once you get those legs down um, onto the original location there, let's see if I can get this straightened up a bit. There we go. Then it should work. Um, sometimes. It's not a guaranteed, this is not a scientific process by any means. Um, I do find that I fight with this more than... In, then it works. Let's see that one there is going to give me grief. And whenever it does give me grief, I usually just go in and I'll sell whatever the unit beside it is and then try again. So like I said, this is not um, um, an exact science by any means yet. This is kind of a make-do. Now, one of the problems I'm probably running into here is this hillside. Oh, look at this. You know it wants to work. Just trying to get this, just to get the right angle. So if I take this, I've got a problem. Look at that. It actually worked. Okay. Um, we're getting a little bit deep into the hillside. It doesn't look too bad from where we're looking at it right now, but I guarantee that uh, this hillside is going to be starting to cause us some grief. So I'm going to delete this. Garage, delete, and delete. And you know what? We'll clean this up just a bit. I can even go with a small one here. Let's see if it's going to let me. Like sometimes you might just have to finagle it, something in place just to get rid of any little extra pieces if it's going to drive you bonkers. Now this one here does not really like this piece. For some reason there's something going on here. And you will find you're going to run into this every once in a while. Oh, I had something there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Oops. Garage. So. Okay. I sold my truck. <laughs> All right, so we now have a fairly open pad. Now, I, I think I might be able to get a little bit more out of this hillside, um, but we're going to start struggling just because of the height of this hillside, and we didn't quite get this little piece right here. This is a bit of a pain. You're going to run into this every once in a while. Um, if you're really precise, you might be able to get rid of it, but no, there's no guarantees. Now, this hillside here is pretty much, it's going to be pretty much as high as you're going to be able to make anything, any changes. That's about it. So, anyways, guys, that's about as far as that's going to go. All right, so now we, once we've got our uh, a plot terraformed, we've got a nice flat area, we can kind of go ahead and build our farm. Now, once again, like I said, a lot of times things don't like to be placed once they've been terraformed, so you kind of have to find that kind of sweet spot. So we'll put our farmhouse right there. We can go in now and maybe we actually want to put a shed in someplace. Spot that that's going to sit. And this actually might work better if we just put it right over here. Let's see if we can spin this around. And put it right there. Well, 
It doesn't like that. Excellent. Um, you want to put a silo in. Can. But like I said, this is... I mean, it's it's not the, the perf most perfect situation right now, but uh, we're getting there. This is this is something that we can at least do to kind of flatten things out, give us a few more options uh, if you want to put your farm someplace other than the generic starting points that they give you, which is, yeah, it's always, I guess, a benefit, right? Anyways, so there we have it, guys. That is my quick tutorial on how to flatten some land. I know it's not rocket science, and I'm hoping that soon enough we get some mods that will allow us to do this stuff. But until then, this is kind of the best you can do. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, guys. And as always, this is Glutch, over and out.